Hey everybody, this is West Point checking in. Going to do a short tutorial on uh, inputting a waypoint via the CDU in the HNZ2. The scenario that's set up, we would probably be getting uh, our in information from either a JTAG. Uh, or a FAC A over our waypoint. Uh, but we know that uh, on the ground we've got um, we've got some man pads on the ground that are going to cause us some real problems when we come in. So we're flying about Angels 19 right now. Uh, that gives us a little bit of cushion to stay above them. And I'm going to go over the basic steps that you need to create um, a waypoint for one of these uh, man pads that are on the ground. And this is an essential task if you're doing anything with nine lines. You have to be able to do this. You have to be able to uh, create a waypoint uh, by the uh, coordinates that you're given. The HNC2 uh, in lat long it uses a decimal lat long or you can use uh, UTM or MGRS to put in your coordinates for um, a target into the CDU and create a waypoint. Uh, in this one we're going to use uh, decimal lat longs and uh, to go through this real quick we're going to set the uh, right hand in MFD to CDU and what it's doing it's showing us everything that we've got in the CDU is being repeated up here so we don't have to stay heads down we don't have to punch everything in down here um, we can do it all up front and we can use either the upfront controller and just type everything into the scratch pad and enter it or yeah, we could go down here and also we could uh, key everything in on the CDU. It's just more heads down time. But uh, I've got us in an orbit hold right now, so let's, let's look at the F-10 and get our coordinates. Down here on the ground, uh, we look right over here, and we've got an SA-18. We've got a man pad right here, and uh, he's got a uh, an SA-18 uh, communications officer with him so uh, he's a little more lethal than just a standard uh, SA-18 man pad but uh, he's nothing we can't take out. Now you can use a you know a, a nine line form on a piece of paper and jot these down. Uh, some people use open knee board. Uh, for this one I'm going to use uh, uh, a mod that's called scratch pad plus and in Scratchpad Plus, you can type into this box over here, or you can actually move it around, and you can capture all of the data from here. I don't want to do that for this, because you need to know how to do it manually. So we'll make the uh, Scratchpad to where you can uh, just type into it and uh, put your coordinates for this in. Now, notice up here in the upper left-hand corner, we're, we're in decimal lat long. We've got 35, uh, north 35, 45, dot 479. That's the key thing to look for, is the decimal followed by three uh, digits. That means that you are in decimal lat long. So, we're going to put our cursor over uh, our man pad here. Let's put it in between the two of them and we look up and we've got uh, I'm just going to put in the numbers I'm going to put in three five four five one four seven and then I'm going to move down and I'm going to put in zero three eight because the second one can have has, it can go greater than a hundred so you have to add the zero before it uh, three three dot one four four so we've got all the numbers that we need now and we can go back to the cockpit and and with Scratchpad Plus you can see how it just uh, 
transfers this little overlay window uh, to wherever it is on the screen. It stays in the same place until I get rid of it. So now what we need to do is we need to be able to put this information into the CDU. And we're going to do that using the CDU repeater. I like using uh, my numpad to uh, map all of my number keys on the CDU uh, to my numpad. It makes it quick for me to enter numbers. So let's put in a waypoint for that man pad and let's say that we got it from a JTAG or we got it from a nine line, whatever the case may be. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go over here and see this question mark nine and it's do we want to duplicate this information and create a waypoint nine. So we're going to say yes to that. We're going to create mission point nine and in the scratch pad, which is in between the brackets right here, we're going to repeat our information. We're going to put in 35451475. And that's our northing. So we're going to click it right there and we're going to put it in the north. We're going to go back to the scratch pad again. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to add a zero, 038. Three three one four four, and we're going to put that in Eastings. So we've got our numbers in here, and now I can make my scratch pad go away because I've got the numbers that I need. We can also name this. We can name this waypoint, and we'll just go down here and we'll do this. We're going to label it. man pad and once we've got that in the scratch pad like you see right here we're going to put it click on the uh, OSB next to the uh, description for it and when we look up in the HUD now and we go to waypoint 9 which is what we just created we've got waypoint man pad at waypoint 9 so let's go over here to our targeting pod. And since we've got waypoint 9 and it's showing to be our steer point in the HUD, when we go China Hat forward long, it's going to slave everything to waypoint 9. Now when we come around here and look, you're going to see that waypoint 9 is looking right at the man pads that we were looking at on the uh, F-10 map. So with them there, right where we placed the uh, waypoint, I'm going to also TMS right short. I'm going to create a mark point for them just so I don't lose them. Uh, I want to be able to go in and get these guys. So to get a waypoint for them, that's all we needed was just the lat long information and putting it in the right places in the CDU. We're 15 miles out from that man pad right now. And let's, we've got uh, some APKWS M151 high explosive uh, laser rockets. Those should do the trick for these guys that are on the ground here. So I'm going to mark them with a point track and I'm going to place it right, let's place it closer to the actual man pad. We can see him holding the uh, uh, his weapon and you can see the other uh, guy with him, the uh, communications guy crouched down. We'll put it right next to them, kind of a little in between them. And now we'll go in and prosecute these two guys here. Um, if you're not familiar with the APKWS uh, laser rockets, I've got a video on that that you might find helpful. Uh, 
all we have to do is get within about seven miles, which is more than out of range for these uh, this man pad, and um, we have to get him a little bit. Uh, we have to go a little nose down so that he's more in line uh, with uh, the bore side of the uh, aircraft. We're at about seven seven and point three miles now. We should be able to get him in the rectangle. There he is right down there. We're going to trigger our laser. And when he's inside the rectangle, rifle times two. The reason that we call rifle on those is because uh, they will set off uh, missile launch warnings for your people that are in your flight. And just go into a lazy, uh, slower orbit. And let's follow this in and see what happens to him. And our man pad just had a really nasty day. And we'll turn the laser off on the uh, APKWS now. We don't want to burn our laser out. If we wanted to do this again, and we wanted to change uh, our coordinates. All we have to do is we can go back in and let's you know, key in uh, whichever it would be uh, to get you back uh, to new coordinates for this. Uh, we just we could do that, or we could create a waypoint ten and we could key in the new coordinates. Let's say if we looked on the map and we look around and here's another man pad down on this end. And all we'd have to do is bring up our scratch pad and clear it out and then we would put in the cor corresponding coordinates for the new man pad and we'd just create a new waypoint uh, back inside the jet. Like I said, all you have to do is just add them in, put them in north, east, and you can label them if you want to, and uh, go in and get the other guys. So this is what you do anytime that the uh, JTAC or a FAC-A is giving you the uh, coordinates for a target. You just create a mark point, it puts you directly on them, and makes them really easy to, to put weapons on their foreheads. Hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. Uh, leave any kinds of questions that you have in the uh, comments. Like and subscribe. We'll do another one soon. Uh, this is West Point checking out.